So today uh, we will solve this Python MCQ, MCQ on object oriented program. So you need to guess or you need to uh, solve this uh, simple program and you need to guess the output. You need to choose the correct answer of this particular program. So what is the output? So see the program. So here uh, we are creating a class, class with the name test and nothing is there in the class. So whenever the class is empty, you need to use pass keyword. Okay. And we are creating an object under this particular class which is t1 equal to test and tt equal to test. Two objects are created now. We are printing t1 equal to equal to t2 comma end. So equal to equal to is the comparison operator we know. Then print type t1 equal to equal to type t2. So and this is a, for this program what will be the output you need to guess it. So true, 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 false, false, true, false, true. Pause the video and choose the correct answer. So if your answer is D, your guess is correct. So you answered it correctly if your answer is D. Why? Because you see, so our class is empty, we have created an object under this class that is T1 and T2. Both are the same objects which are created under the same class. If you consider this print, test, print statement, <coughs> type T1 equal to equal to type T2. So what is the type function will return? The type of the object, right? So this is the type of the object which will come under the class test. So both objects are created under the same class. So that's why it will returns you true, right? So the second print statement will returns you true. And then what about the first print statement? So T1 equal to equal to T2. Both objects are same? No. So these two objects are different, but both objects are created under the same class. That's why it will returns you false. But here you have used end. So that's why both uh, results will get prints on the same line. So this is also look like the same, but so here false is printed in one line and true is printed in the second line. So which is wrong answer. So if you um, this is correct, but here, whenever we are using end, the print statement means this print statement after execution of this print statement, the next print statement is going to execute after printing the result of this one. So that's why it will get false first, it will get prints, and after that, true, it will get prints. This is the correct answer for this. And the next question is uh, the class object is created when? So when will be the uh, object? under a class will be created. You know, the options are given. The class definition is executed. The class is instantiated. Class method is called. So here, uh, whenever we wanted to create an object, it is called object instantiation, right? When you instantiate one object, which thing is executed? Class definition will execute, right? The correct answer is A, not this one or this one, right? So here, uh, class is instantiated. So here class is instanti instantiated, not the object. But here the class definition is executed. When the class definition will execute, when object is instantiated, then the class definition will execute. And the correct answer is A. And the next question is, if you create a method that doesn't need any arguments, you don't have to specify any parameters in the function definition. So we want to create a method, so in a particular class. So when we are creating a method, generally we will specify parameters, but we don't have any parameters. Is there any need to specify a required parameter or not? So we need to select a true or false. So understand the question and try to answer it, pass the video. If your answer is false, you are correct, otherwise not. Because you need to specify compulsory the required parameter which is self. And the question is find out whether error exists in this program or not. What is the program? Let's see. So we have created a class with the name test and two methods are created in this particular class. One is with the name method1 and with the name method2. So instead of the method1, means first use repeat function which is called as a method. So we know that in the class and print inside method1. And after that in the method2, we are printing inside method2 and after that we are calling the method1. Right. So just this is a program we find out whether error exists or not. And here under this class we have created object t and we are calling the method 2 over this object t. So t dot method 2. Now you analyze it and uh, find out whether error arises or not in the execution. 
So if your answer is uh, there exists an error, you are correct. So because in this line we will get error. So because we are calling this method without referring to any object, that is we need to use self compensate. Here if we use self dot method one, then only this particular method can be callable here, otherwise not.